Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am going to teach you how to create this cool wallpaper modification effect here. Actually, I'll be edit starting from scratch with this wallpaper here. I'll be using the same wallpaper you see here in the background. So this is our before and after what we'll be doing. Okay, so I'm going to just duplicate this wallpaper here and teach you how to add some colors in the background and this kind of bubble effect with some text modification here okay so i'm going to duplicate this background layer to a new document so right click duplicate layer and i'm going to select new so and click on ok so here's what we had as a before and the first thing what i'm going to start is by adding a few colors here in the clouds there we can see that this is just a plain orangish color here so let's create a new layer and the best way to do that is switch to your brush tool right click and make a soft brush so I'm going to select the default brush and make it a soft big size brush here and let's select the color you like so maybe I'll be taking something yellow is already kind of there so let's take a bluish aqua color here and just make sure you have your flow set to a lower opacity because if you really brush you don't want that so bright so I'm just lowering the flow up to around 50% and just brush in a bluish here and we'll take a green at that point it doesn't matter if you're not perfect we are gonna mask that again and let's take another like a purple color there we go we'll add some another color here I think we'll add our own kind of yellow okay once you have that done we don't really like it like this okay so first thing you're gonna do is filter blur Gaussian blur we're gonna mix that color and let's increase the blur here some way you feel it's kind of mixed I think that much would be good okay it's almost full and change the blending mode of this color layer to color now you can see that the two sharp edges are here so you can fix that by we're rather applying the blur again you can increase that blur a bit more and that's a lot it's kind of completely removed you can add something like that or if you lower it it's not gonna help let's increase that yeah that's kind of good okay now you see that you have our colors on the building here so i'm gonna mask that by with this layer selected i'm just gonna call this color change i'm gonna click on the mask icon here and select my brush tool again I'm going to fill our flow up to 100% and make sure you have black as your foreground color mask selected I'm just going to brush in the building here where I really don't want all that color modification I just brush that lower your brush size and move that green okay if you really want to be perfect you could even just all edges we miss changing the color there okay I think that's enough for this and I'm zooming back okay now what I'm going to do is add a soft light effect for the whole image so to do that I'm going to duplicate everything we have here on our stage so to do that is the best shortcut is control shift alt e which you see now I have a new layer which has all the effect with the color completely merged with it now what I'm going to do is filter blur Gaussian blur and not that much okay let's lower this around 5 pixels I think and turn your blending options of that layer to soft light the best effect which you can add in images to have a soft effect there we go once you have that done I'm going to add some text here let's say typing in let's type in the same sentence there I typed I think I used okay home sweet home okay once you have that done let's size this and let's size it a bit more we don't really want it in an orange color let's switch back to white okay I'm gonna make these two a bit more bold 
you can just pick any font that you like okay I'll be using I'm using Gotham as a font okay and I'm gonna set this text somewhere here in the sky let's lower this a bit more okay that's the original size so you can see here clearly once you have it set on your wallpaper I'm gonna add a text effect for that so double click on my blending options of my text tool I'm adding a bit of a shadow not very strong just a slight shadow you can leave your blending mode to multiply it doesn't make any difference and I'm gonna add a bevel and emboss real soft bevel and emboss you can see that you can leave all the depth everything as default you just see me editing the softness okay and now what I'm gonna do is add a gradient to this text maybe a slight silverish color okay and anything else that would look nice maybe an inner glow in a shadow sorry I don't think that's fine I think that's enough that's enough for this type of modification okay and you could even keep place that on the grass here I think I place it here on the grass okay once you have that done let's make a new layer and I'm gonna to my brush right click I'm gonna make a new brush here full hardness and size up around just a small make sure you have your foreground set to white press D to switch to default colors or click on the small icon here or press on your X to shift in your foreground and background color okay now I think I make that a bit more bigger maybe 8 pixels I think it's fine yeah. Okay, once you have that brush set, I'm going to hit on F5 to modify that brush. Click on Shape Dynamics. Fill in your size jitter whip to 100%. Scattering 1000%. Go back to your brush tip and space that a bit. 60%. Okay, now I'm switching back to my pen tool. And with this layer, new layer, I'm going to just click on any point here. Drag rightwards. Just make a nice curvy curvy effect right click stroke path make sure you have a brush as your tool stimulate pressure checked on and ok once you have that let's hit an escape twice to remove that path I'm gonna add another one right here above the home of the word sweet anything anything you really like to add the way you have again escape and another one right here there we go, I'm going to add another here on the building I think above this house here, sorry there you go, let's something coming out from that chimney there, okay and now what I'm going to do is add a nice glowing effect for these drops there so let's rename this layer and switch to my blending options outer glow so change your blending mode to dodge lower the opacity increase the size you really don't want a lot of brightness there so just a nice cool glow okay. lower the spread up to zero i think that's good increase your opacity there we go i hope that is looking really good you could even add some more curves or shines coming here on the top it doesn't really have to look the same way it's here so let's make a new layer and to my switch to your pen tool click drag right this words and another one on this side and what I'm gonna do is hold on your alt key and click on the last tangent here to remove that point so you have your flexible in adding new points and click on the last point now I'm going to make a selection for that so right click make selection and ok make sure you don't have feather checked ok and with a new layer I'm going to just call this shine and switch back to your gradient tool right click and select white to transparent just add a nice shine there and change the blending mode of that to overlay here we go can lower the opacity a bit so that's not really bright and you can duplicate that and turn the angle duplicate that again and lower the size maybe a bit and then change the 
position of that shine something like that make another one and you can add some kind of shines like that and what else can we do with this well I hope this is something you really like and you do many things with it by making your image look more brighter by re duplicating the whole thing again by control alt shift e to duplicate the whole piece you don't really do that because it fixes everything you don't do that a lot just do it for some times when you really want to make some more glowing or bright effects from your blending options here so i hope you learned something from this and make sure you visit my youtube channel which is flash expert without any thank you for watching and come for more videos